What a go. What's up, my babies? What's poppin'? <laughs> and welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time to be on my channel, hey, how are you? I'm Mocha. Also, I would like to thank everyone for the new subscribes, for the all the subscribes, the likes, the shares, um, the comments, y'all, the love. Keep it coming. I love it. I truly love it. I adore it. I mean, a lot of y'all don't even know how much y'all uplift my day that kind of get to me and get a little rough, you know. In those moments where I have to sit still, do I look at my comments and it really made my heart, my soul, my my spirit smile, to be honest with you. I can't, I couldn't really put an adjective on the feeling, you know, so I want to thank y'all for that. Also, my way of giving back, I will be doing a live Q&A today. I should have made some damn notes so I don't get all this shit. So let me get all my announcements out. I should have made, but um, I will be doing a live Q&A um, later on today. Um, I didn't get to do it yesterday because just distractions. And I don't know if y'all been having some distractions in y'all world. Same thing as Pisces because I was supposed to do Pisces and Virgo yesterday. But I'm not getting to it today until today. So here we are, okay? Um, Virgos, this is against my sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cross watchers of Virgo from mid-July into the end of July 2018. Uh, this may apply to everyone. It may not, okay? If it does not apply, if it applies a little bit, feel free to get a personal reading. I'm not 100% booked and I am available to do so. The as long as that you're going to wait dealing with me is 24 hours. I don't allow myself to get booked that far. I'm Aries, so, you know, we get straight to that business right there, okay? Um, Virgos, intuitively, you did not come this far to go backwards. A lot of y'all are going back to old addictions. A lot of y'all have lost hope. Even though you can see the light on the other end, you can literally see the light on the other end of the tunnel a lot of y'all are refusing through fear and doubt and not having enough confidence with themselves based on what everybody else said okay that y'all are going backwards and y'all just literally proving those people who bother you and sit in your subconscious when you move when you making those actions and you live in your everyday y'all doing nothing but proving them right by going backwards a lot of y'all are getting through a lot of past life karma a lot of y'all are um, honoring soul contracts. Those of you who need to make a decision, okay? Then one decision involves enlightenment, self-growth, and ascending. And the other decision involves where you're comfortable at, where your heart lies. However, y'all came to this world to be wisdom to the world, okay? You came to be sage wisdom. A lot of mutables are going through things, but my Virgos in particular are having, having the toughest time out of the mutable energies um, that are trying to shine their light and transmute these negative situations and transmute these karmic and past life situations. Virgos, self-love is the best love. Virgo, self-love is the best love. Virgo, self-love is the best love. Virgo, God loves you. And he is not disowning you because of the choices that you're choosing to make. But understand that these are indeed your free will choices. No one is making you. No one loves you any less. You are worthy. You are more than valuable. You are gold, baby, and it's time for you to shine. Make that decision that is best for you and everyone around you, okay? But finding it in a bottle, putting it in a blunt, putting it up your nose, putting it in your arm for some of y'all is not an option. Putting it in a lustful situation with somebody who you feel defines who you are, okay? A lot of y'all having a hard time putting y'all karmics down and all hell is going through breaking loose. But God just wants you to know, I have to tear it down to rebuild it for love, divine love, wisdom. And you have to go through this so that you can shine your light on someone else to prevent them from going through it because of the wisdom that you've lived through. Purification. Put it down, Virgo. It's okay. I love you. Whew. Let's get to these cards. So this will be from the mid from the 15th to the 31st of July 2018 for my Sun Moon Rising Venus and Cross Watchers of Virgo. Y'all energy is a bit heavy, kind of like that of Pisces, but I don't want to cry. Um, so if you're dealing with a Pisces, maybe this could uh can kind of shine a little light on your situation as well. Because y'all may actually feel a little mutual, so if you don't make the decision or you avoid the decision, the decision is going to be made for you, I understand. And you may not like the way that it's made. So right now, while free will is definitely 
pushing you to make a choice. You need to do so. Oof. Thank you, Spirit. I think it was the 31st of July for Virgo. Alright. Oh. Well, y'all's cards are just jumping out. I did pull um for you. Um, a Doreen virtual messages just like that. A Pisces two fell out, so I took them. Okay. All right. There we go. I took. I'm trying to hold on to some shit. Virgo. Some of y'all are hanging around in a situation, and you're hanging there. And even though you hang there, you literally punishing yourself within that situation. A lot of y'all are not sleeping, okay? Because a lot of y'all know that truth and clarity is coming, that you need truth and clarity, possibly regarding the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And to be honest with you, y'all, somebody could be getting cut off, all right? Some of y'all are avoiding telling the truth, possibly to an air sign, or air sign is avoiding telling the truth to you, or this could be about an air sign. But someone's hanging in a situation and trying to hold on to something, okay? Instead of communicating. Instead of communicating, all right, that I'm tired of sitting in this state, okay? Some of y'all are definitely, literally not getting mental clarity. Some of y'all are beating y'all ass, beating y'all own ass when it comes to making a decision regarding the Taurus. Some of y'all, with this person, y'all very passionate about this someone, okay? Some of y'all, this could be an Aries Leo Sag as well, okay? Some of y'all, y'all losing sleep behind the Aries Bill Sagittarius, strong emphasis on the Sagittarius. Okay, I feel like truth and clarity is going to be had from the 15th to the 31st of July, and somebody's going to be cut out, Virgo. And for some of y'all, Virgo, it's going to be you. Some of y'all, y'all going to be doing the cutting of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong emphasis on Taurus as well. A lot of y'all want to be, uh, looks like y'all passionate about. Uh, Aries Leo Sag, strong emphasis on the Aries and strong emphasis on the Sagittarius. I feel like, again, y'all see the light at the end of the tunnel, okay? Some of y'all are pulling back away from a situation that involves the air sign and just really going in introspection mode. But don't overanalyze things. Some of y'all are overanalyzing things about a Taurus that you were hanging in there with. But I feel like the divine is literally screaming. A lot, a lot of y'all are hanging on to this earth sign due to money, okay, for financial reasons. Y'all need to hang on with this person because maybe this person paid the bills, maybe this person is the breadwinner. But what you don't know is somebody's going to get cut. I feel like a lot of y'all are going through catalytic situations. Maybe you were holding on to an earth sign or holding on to an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all was hanging in there with a the Sagittarius and the catalytic situation came and just boom, just kind of knocked you off your fucking rocker. You wasn't ready for it. Okay, and a lot of y'all are having to move forward and make a decision, and some of y'all are just sitting still and y'all putting y'all decision making in the bottle. Okay, don't tell me that you're not doing this. I see it, I feel it. Okay, divine intervention. Okay, the first angel message I got for y'all, and I'm gonna get these angel messages out because your whole message ties to one another as a whole. First off, from the Gaia, the dreams of Gaia Tarot, I pulled the sage. Didn't I tell y'all, God, y'all are wisdom to the world, baby. You wisdom. A lot of y'all been seeing a lot of owls lately. If you, this from the 15th to the 31st, if you see an owl, know that owls are overseers, but owls bring great wisdom, okay? And for a lot of y'all, this will be the animal that connects to y'all this, uh, for the, this later half of July, okay? Owls, squirrels, okay? Squirrels, they are comfortable in their place of Gathering and gathering and gathering and gathering and gathering and gathering and gathering. But just know this about a squirrel. When shit shakes up, everything that they have fucking gathered, they understand that they can't take it with them. They got to move right now. Okay? Owls, what they have in common is that they've built up the wisdom to know to trust themselves and when to know when to move on and get the fuck on. Okay? The divine, the angel message that I pulled for y'all from the divine, um, Doreen Virtue, Tarot Dead Babies, was gold. Okay, my babies? Gold. Divine intervention. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. I see about four women in my opinion standing in front of me pregnant. Two of them are pregnant. Two of them have babies. I feel like this, what, what y'all all have in common with these babies is the fact that with these babies, I feel like these are three-party situation babies, and maybe that truth and clarity hasn't been had yet. Maybe y'all got a fire sign acting very defensive against y'all because they're needing that truth. 
However, someone's not making the decision or the move to move forward and to fix it, to get that truth, okay? I feel like you holding on to the situation, okay, due to there being passion there. However, communication is going to be had, Virgo. Communication is going to be had regarding possibly a family situation, okay, that is surrounding a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, as well as a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sash. Now I'm going to get to this clarification. But I do feel like a lot of y'all who are not sleeping... Some of y'all are wanting to chase your dreams. There's something that you're very passionate about. Maybe if this relates to work too, because I feel like this is work related for some of y'all. If this relates to work, you're stuck in a situation. Maybe you feel like you're literally, now it's the attitude of feeling like I'm stuck here. Even though doors and windows are openings for you to take a, a, a route towards something that you're passionate about doing. But you kind of standing in your own way. Feeling like you got to be loyal to this one and that one and that one and that one. And holding on to some shit that is no longer serving you. Okay? Let's get it. Hangman. Why is the hangman here, Spirit for Virgo? Please show me. Show me. Yep. Some y'all are hanging on to a Sagittarius. Okay? Or well, again, some y'all are hanging on to a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Strong emphasis on Taurus. Okay? And y'all in y'all head about it, y'all conflicted because 90% of y'all know you got somewhere to be. Trust your intuition, Virgos. Either you're going to make the choice or it's going to make you. But the choice will be made, Spirit says. Definitely. Some of y'all are in y'all head about moving forward with a fire sign. Could be a Leo as well. Uh, but Aries Leo or Aries and Sagittarius is here as well. Strong, savvy, strong Leo and Aries is in the building with all these damn cardinal birds in his card. Okay. And Libra could also be a Libra for some of y'all. Some of y'all, y'all soulmate, y'all twin flame has came in and boom, knocked y'all off your rocker, okay? But you, they came in, no matter what you trying to hold on to, you don't control God, Virgos, okay? Let me tell y'all something. I'm having to learn this too, all right? We don't run shit. You can try to hold on to shit all you like. But if God says that it's not meant for you to have it, what you want is not always what you need. And a lot of y'all are learning that. Okay, I feel like it's not meant for you to lose sleep about it, baby. You are wisdom to the world. Think about all the shit that you've been through, Virgo, that you know about. Think about everything that you've been through. Okay, think about how much it's built you. Think about how much you inspire others with your analytics as well as with your experience. Think about how many people y'all keep out the way of going through bullshit because you've been there, done that. Hold on to those things because that is a lot of y'all purpose here on this earth. God loves you. Some of y'all are definitely kind of indecisive about a twin flame soulmate situation. For some of y'all, y'all communicating or waiting on communication from a Gemini, okay? But I strongly feel like in the month of June, really, y'all receive communication or some type of offer moving forward with your twin flame. And they, they talking about it now. And you trying to hold on to some shit and every, the thing that you're trying to hold on to is literally pulling from you like this. Don't want to be kept because they honoring the God in them. We don't control shit. Virgos, you can't control it, baby. All right. Some of y'all are finally getting communication from the 15th to the 31st regarding a Gemini. Okay. And they want to hold on to the situation. If you've already knew that person, they want to fix it. For some of y'all, this person came and knocked you off your shit. Knocked you off your rocker. This is definitely a twin, if he was wondering. Yes. Okay. Why does King of Wands here? But some of y'all, y'all are losing sleep on how the hell y'all going to let go of Taurus, okay? Because y'all got a passionate new beginning with possibly a young Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Or somebody who's younger than you, but they sit in the king seat. So I feel like not only is there passion, but there's experience behind this person. This could also be um, some of y'all in y'all head having to... Balance yourself after possibly cutting off a fire sign, being cut off by a fire sign, or just reckless ass communication that a person really just talking out the side of their ass, but they really don't mean it, okay? Because what you're not understanding is that this catalytic situation has to happen because maybe that person has past life karma or past karma that they need to go work out. If y'all are not growing, if this relationship does not have a strong foundation, it's not going to stand, my angels say. Ace of Swords. What is this Ace of Swords? Eight of rods. So yeah, communication, some form of communication is definitely coming. I feel like it definitely involves either fire or air. Could be both of them, okay? But I feel like a form of communication is definitely coming and it's coming in fast. And I feel like some of y'all are kind of fight the change or fight kind of resisting the change. But 
Virgo, it's coming, okay? Some of y'all are going to make take a leap of faith, okay? Towards somebody who's been very defensive towards you, or maybe someone's going to take a leap of faith. If you've been defensive towards the Aries, or maybe the Aries has been defensive towards you, they're going to take a leap of faith and come and talk to you really soon from the 15th to the 31st. And they're going to give you some clarity, okay? And that clarity is going to really put you in your damn head, okay? Because y'all have no idea of the things that's working around y'all. A lot of things are working in your favor. You don't see it, but a lot of things have to crumble before they can really start the way that you need them to get off the ground. For some of y'all, okay, y'all thinking about taking a leap of faith, um, back towards your past, okay? And this could have to do with the Aries, Leo, Sag, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all are holding on to a fucking Scorpio, or a Scorpio is holding on to you, okay? Um, for some of y'all, this Scorpio is y'all twin. Some of y'all are holding on to y'all always and don't want to transform, okay? But change, the change that's coming from my Virgos is a positive change. Some of y'all are feeling rejected or feeling like, this is definitely Virgo. Some of y'all are crying over spilled milk. Oh, I should have did this. I should have did that. Maybe I should have did this differently. Maybe I should have did this, this, maybe this, or maybe that, okay? Ain't no maybe, baby. Trust what you already know because I feel like y'all have already, a lot of y'all have already shined the light on y'all's situation and know the area in which y'all need to go. 90% of y'all got a catalytic situation coming in to bust up, bust y'all away from y'all karmics, okay? Because God is really tired of allowing y'all to make the choice because a lot of y'all are not making it. Y'all sitting still, just getting drunk. Oh, I don't want to deal with it. Oh, I cannot. Because now it's not your decision, okay? Some of y'all are trying to hold on to have a Scorpio trying to hold on to you, okay? And I'm going to be honest with you, this person is holding on to you for financial reasons. If you didn't know or you maybe you intuitively you thought about it, the shit finna hit the fan, okay? Shit's going to hit the fan possibly with this Scorpio or with this air sign, okay? Um, the next full moon is very, very, very imperative to my Virgos, okay? During with this retrograde, this retrograde is going to be tearing down faulty foundations for y'all. Um, a lot of y'all are moving away from um, earth signs due to catalytic situations with air signs. Some of y'all were holding on to an earth sign, but y'all heart really lies with the Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. And some of y'all going to take that leap of faith. Some of y'all going to get some reckless communication or about or from a Sagittarius, okay? And you're not going to like it. But in, unfortunately, it has to happen in order to cut away that shit to bring you new news because... The divine is trying to bring my Virgos new, new, okay? All right, so for some of y'all, y'all have a family situation, okay? It's family situation, the Ten of Cups. Y'all have a family situation, but there was a three-party situation from the past affecting y'all's situation moving forward, okay? For some of y'all, um, this person who involves you in this three-party situation, if it was a Sagittarius, y'all going to get some truth and clarity about that. And a lot of people's secrets are going to be coming forth around y'all. Everything around y'all is going to be shifted, Virgo, because five has to, five is the change that y'all needed. Some of y'all are being very defensive towards change. Y'all trying to control some shit. You don't have any control. New new is on the way. And with that new new, for those of you holding on to somebody for money, an earth sign, when you let it go, you walk into your own abundance, baby, because it's for you. And it's going to be doing something that you're passionate about. For those of you who are holding on to job situations, to marriages, okay, and you were unhappy in that situation, some severing is going to come to the forefront, Virgo. And I just want to really get y'all ready for it. And I want y'all to know that nothing is happening to you, babies, because I feel a victimized energy around. Like, oh, oh, this is the energy that I start feeling is kind of like, why me? Why this? Why? If nothing is happening to you, it's happening for you, okay? Some of y'all are trying to cut off a twin flame, and it just ain't happening. They ain't going no damn way. The divine is going to keep putting them right there until you fix what it is that needs to be fixed, until, until you are able to be receptive to love, okay? We are on the strings. We don't run shit. We at the bottom of them boys, okay? So with the angel message that I got for you, God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. I was not going to, but you have to just trust in the divine. Some of y'all called in these positive changes, okay? But some of y'all, your, your, your non-decision making is why this change is occurring, okay? Because uh, y'all have to admit, you have free will choices to make a decision. But some of y'all, shit that literally just came up and caught you off guard. But some of y'all, a family situation, somebody... Somebody is going through a family situation. I see somebody getting out of jail. Virgo, if you've been feeling somebody finna get out of jail, maybe it's a little earlier than they're supposed to get out of jail, and then if they coming for you, you've been having dreams, they knocked on your door, popped up on you. I feel like God is trying to show you a future because 
somebody's definitely getting out of jail. And I feel I see three or four people getting out of jail. You dealing with somebody very going to get out of jail, and maybe you in a in situation that you in there for money, you're not happy with the situation. Maybe the person in jail was your heart, your your everything. Okay, you just know that that was your soulmate, your twin. They had to go sit down and learn some lessons. Somebody who you're very passionate about finna pop up on your ass, and it's finna be like. Decision making time, Virgo, what you gonna do? But what God does not want you to do is continue putting it in the bottle, okay? Stop drinking so damn much. If it's not you, it's somebody in your energy. Go. Oh, I got gold and garnet, both of the G's. They back to back. I'm gonna read garnet first. Purification and detoxification was the second angel message I got for y'all. Y'all, I put it back because it failed at first. It fell again. When I shuffled, it fell again. So this is definitely for y'all. Purification and detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. This card probably validates that you've what you what you've already been sensing. Yes. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. In particular, this is a necessary change to support your health. What's the first thing that comes to mind to detox when you think about the word detox? When you say it, what's the first thing coming to your mind? That's what needs to be changed. Perhaps you've been receiving inner divine guidance to enjoy a clean energy diet or to abstain from chemicals. Or maybe you are feeling called to avoid harsh energy in relationships on social media and in your everyday daily activities or in the media. This is a supportive time for you to make this healthful shift. Reach out for qualified help if addictions are creating uncontrollable cravings. Prayer can also help you purify your motivations and intentions so that they are inspired from your higher self instead of your ego. With higher vibrational intentions, your manifestations will be more fulfilling and satisfying. Okay, so I feel like if y'all had a faulty foundation with someone, and maybe the maybe the maybe the connection was built off a foundation of six. Okay, and then a situation, some real life shit comes in, and boom, you feeling a little betrayed. This person hit the deck on your ass, but y'all ain't really built. Y'all ain't really built no foundation around that. The foundation is faulty. It's not firm. Get what I'm saying? So I feel like if you're dealing with a Scorpio, though, that the divine wants me to scream that out. They are dealing with you for money. Y'all going to find that out very soon, okay? And some of them may have a whole fucking uproar on your ass, talk to you out the side of your neck or whatever. Just knows, instead of flipping out on their ass and beating them up or doing, y'all crazy. It's like, y'all, cousin, y'all truly my cousins. I'm Aries, y'all. Cousin, don't whoop they ass. Think they ass. Because they just moving you one step closer to where you need to be at, okay? Let it go. Some of y'all have been knowing you got to let it go. But here they ass come again. And they only coming because you right at the, you right at your win. And they ain't trying to stand in front of the door. Push their ass out the way. Okay? Gold. Divine intervention. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. I've been feeling that. Y'all been praying. A lot of y'all been praying, meditating, praying, went in the hip. But make sure your prayers are not coming from a place of ego. Make sure your prayers are not coming from a place of, oh, I'm going to show them. Make sure your play, your prayers are not coming from a place of that, baby, because they won't be blessed. Okay? And that's just real G. You can expect a miracle to help with the situation you're concerned about. Prayers from multiple people have been heard and are being answered. This card indicates that the need to hear and follow divine guidance is near. Many prayers are answered by God giving you a set of instructions to take action steps, which will bring out the blessed outcome. So do you keep your mind clear and sober so that you won't miss noticing them? Create quiet space as well so that God can hear your inner voice. I'm sorry, so that, wait, create quiet space as well so that you can hear your inner voice of God. Keep giving this troubling situation to God through prayer, including praying for help in surrendering the concern if you are struggling with fear or control issues. Since gold is associated with Jesus, this card can also be assigned to reconnect with him. So I feel like a lot of y'all, instead of going backwards and holding on to toxic things, people, places, and things, I dare you to move forward, trust, and have faith that everything that you have manifested, that you have prayed for, that you have been through, has been for you, not towards you, okay? Because you have beautiful things coming. Passion is coming. Something that you're very passionate about is on the way. You got to hold your lover, your divine lover. Your other half is here. They're on the way. I feel like they got there in June, to be honest. They're here. You're going to keep holding on to some shit that, unfortunately, you know you're not happy with. Or you're just going to choose you. Because the sage in you. 
Keep looking for them owls. Them owls, you see this owl? Y'all see them owls mid-month? God is trying to tell you something. The world needs your wisdom. Speak, Virgo. Make a decision and speak. What have life taught you that you can inspire the world with? That you're passionate about. What are your passions? God trying to bless you. But unfortunately, some people, places, things, shit got to go. But a happy change is coming. Beautiful change. Just let it in. Just let it in. Okay? This is what I have for y'all from mid-month July from the 15th to the 31st. If you need that personal, again, I'm not 100% booked. Hit me up, cousin. Okay? Stop playing. I love y'all. Till August. Oh, don't forget I'm doing Q&A. So if y'all get the, the notification bill to say Q&A, I'm picking random questions, 10 to 15 of them, though, thus far, okay, to answer uh, on my Q&A session. My super chat is up and running because a lot of y'all for my birthday was like, Mocha, you ain't got super chat. Now Mocha has super chat, babies. And thank y'all for even thinking about me back then. Now I have it. When I seen it, I was like, that's what they about, my baby. Yeah, now I have it. So I'm going to be doing Q&A. If you want a question, answer. Maybe you don't have time to book. Tune in to that live. Maybe your question, boo. Bye, y'all.